The Antibodies Report has been an eye-opener to the weakness of the process of allocating project licences. It has been particularly jaw-dropping over the use of the dreaded three R's. We oppose the three R's because they are still animal testing, however they want to spin it. So let's first look at replacement. It is impossible under the current arrangements of how the law, i.e. the Animals and Scientific Procedures Act, is operated for the project holders. They are told in order to carry out research, they must ensure they comply with the law. Yet, there's no official database they can refer to and no specific guidance either. This report catches them out. What a way to work. Without guidance in a database of replacements, they break the law. One of the report's criticisms is about the lack of expertise in experimental design. The problem is that the current training and skilling across universities is based on the premise of using animals as core tools. This is carried over to postgraduate work in all areas where testing is required. It is also the same in the animals in the science committee. In fact, widespread and no arrangements are being made to address, coordinate and manage this transition. It is in fact a total shambles and is already contributing to a loss of talent and innovation. It is also the key reason for so many animals being used in pointless and awful research. Hence, any review like the antibodies report that does not start from the premise that the experiment design is created before methods of experimenting is worse than useless. As most undergraduates come to university with limited or no knowledge of how to design such experiments, it's a bit rich for the Animals and Science Committee to demand that there is insuring when they have made no provision for fail-safes. The lack of funding and investment by universities for its undergraduates is not a valid reason for failing to ensure that experimentation is well designed. In fact, ASPA makes no such allowance. The ASPA says definitely that alternatives must be used. This lack of provision is increasing and criticising individual researchers for what are establishment failures is symptomatic of the whole poorly managed structure. You can look all you like for replacements, but if your training is based on an empty room with little available resources, then you will fail. Reduction. This report says clearly there is a two level system of antibody work going on. That of big commercial suppliers with whole libraries to work on and those of universities and small suppliers. The report does not acknowledge the impact on the work of the UK PLC on antibody production and development at all. This is dangerous and foolish to allow this to happen. The report says there is guessing at the number of animals needed. How is that science? It is clear that this section of the report is poorly written and not well understood. And the section on refinement makes no reference to the duplication which will inevitably increase with the speed of change and lack of coordination going on here in the UK. Each government department works separately. The three R's are really are no chance. We are making way too much money guessing and duplication. So we will report more of this in the coming weeks. So thank you.